back again. <clears throat> this time I'm going to do comfort and confliction. So two universal energies. Of course, they're both much more. Than comfort, where none hurt, where the sun's burst quenches our deepest thirst, brought by beauty, being bought without refusing, but using what's here. The essence of relaxation. It's almost amazing, but less exciting. Or maybe, for my person, after an enlightening experience where mysterious energy is minimal, at the moment where nothing is pivotal, there's no ridicule when we maximize the minimal for the benefits they bring. Appreciation is key for finding comfort. Flirt encumbered, subtlety leaves me stumbling for words. I hear the love, my waters calm, warm with minimal desire. But my intent goes wild, galloping with the wind on the back of my neck. So content, mild, curious as an infant. Mellow, melding my orange and yellow energies over the evergreens. Provided are all of my needs, guided by the calm waters, kindled fire at the shore. I have all the lessons from my fathers, and I'm constantly learning more. Application to use this as ground base and extend an arm's reach. We will learn to teach with a very sensual speech. This must be intentional. I agree it's regressional, but more so progressional. It is through emotions that we experience a festival, though the thoughts that contain them is what we develop devotion to. If we devote to emotions, we can then find what's true, only then. Next is confliction the equal opposite. <clears throat> Confliction, an emotion or disposition. Deep feelings from mental or physically damaged equipment. But it's seriously something we are equipped with, almost as if it's a ligament. Is it stigmatic? It is a fact it's something we dig with when we're indignant we act as infants, screaming and crying, showing only resistance. But I'm feeling we're lying, knowing reality's persistence. This only happens when there's no nutriment. I say, screw this shit, we're drowning ourselves in foolishness. For reasons that I can't find any truthfulness. Only excuse for ruthlessness. How is it conscious confliction is doing this? We need honest dimensions where everything fits. But we live in suspension, telling ourselves we keep taking hits. Truthfully, there's no problems, only situations. But when we focus on blame, it's quite obvious where the mistakes are being made and what they're made with onto addiction, where nobody holds any suspicion. There's no permanence in anything but a society of consistent division and subdivision after subdivision. We see people of grand submission and mediocre rebellion, and one who holds any difference is labeled a helly. Therefore, we must cast out our dislikes, and we invite only what makes us feel all right. This is a pathetic insight of consistent dislike, minimal change, and a disposition of confliction. That's why it's all love. Bye.